Hey Google, tell me what what a stereotypical Discord moderator is. Hey Google, play Bat to the Bone. Bat to the Bone by George. <laughs> <laughs> no, Google, stop! <laughs> Google, <no! laughs> you're gonna go. You're gonna go kill yourself. <laughs> yes, I will. All right, hello, happy Halloween. Welcome to. Uh, we haven't even put the title of the game. Fucking press yeah, I can't thing. press it. You have to click the game. Click oh, the game, dumb fuck. All right, go. Let's press, go press the fucking thing. There you go. <laughs> hello, welcome to Vampire Survivors, where today we're going to uh, kill vampires and also vampires survive. All right, hey Google. What is a stereotypical Discord moderator? Sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Do you want to know what is a good Discord moderator? Yes. Mm. On the website discord.com, they say, Discord. while moderating, always be friendly and ready to help users in public. It's, it's kind of figured out. Balance between in, in public? Users, while also fostering a healthy relationship with users. Uh-huh. <laughs> a, a healthy relationship with users. It says, and it's a, in, help in public too. <laughs> Both of those are cap. Well, except for the second one. <laughs> you would know, weren't you? No. All right, we're not doing those jokes. Hello. We're doing these jokes. <laughs> Happy Halloween. What All are right. You talking about? Start the fucking game. We had another recording, but fucking. Uh, no, actually, Alan this fucked it up. The, the, uh, look, it look. It's not what. All right. Yes, it was my yeah, fault. We, we, I was not paying this. attention. To the, to the, uh, I did not do a whole ass test recording before this, and it fucked up the whole fucking footage. So we wasted basically one hour of our life. Basically. Yeah. Well, not really, since we got upgraded, we also got this motherfucker. Uh, Turns out lighting's really good. Lighting is really good in this game. I had the greatest run ever before Sergio told his little, you had a story to tell. What was it? I'm you, not saying it. You're gonna say it. I'm go. not gonna say it. Just go. You're gonna choke the shit out of me for that. Go. That sounded wrong. Go. Say, <laughs> say it right now. What was your story? Because you were having a solo session while I was literally gone for like 10 minutes. Will the mouse be on the re recording? Huh? Will the mouse be on the recording? The mouse? Yeah. What do you mean the mouse? Oh, the like, fucking cursor. Oh, the cursor? Yeah. God damn. Let me remove that shit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to remove that shit away from thy screen. Jesus. Also, apparently there's a new clock, there's a clock item that I unlocked uh, in a round before we started recording. It's a literal fucking spear. For, it stops time. It stops time for whoever it's that. Really good, paired up with the garlic ability I unlocked earlier. Uh, During the, the uh, recording we lost. <laughs> wait, on the, okay, so here's a story for how I lost that stupid recording. So today, we recorded, we were like, hey, hey, you wanna record? And, and, and no, Sergio was like, hey, are you free? I'm like, yeah, I was like, what time? I was like, here's the time. Come by this time. We recorded this game. I for had an hour it, straight. For an hour straight. We we had some decent sessions. <laughs> yeah. And then after that, it, 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 it ended up just being fucking... Pointless. Pointless because I had a setting in my mic... I'm going to double check right now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, play on, play on the screen! I can't! I yes. can't! Yeah. No, 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 this is his computer. You should know how this fucking thing works. Uh, well, I keep forgetting how it works. That's the I'm thing. I'm not surprised you keep forgetting. <laughs> All right. Well, the truth is, I have dementia. Severe dementia. Well, not really, but that's what everyone says. Because I keep I forget things every like hour two seconds. Or so. uh, two seconds. Like yeah, like I'll, I'll even forget things on the spot. Like I'll just I'll just have like a normal conversation. Like oh yeah, I'll be telling the story, and then my my train of thought just just leaves. It just. Imagine the train just derail and, and fucking fall through the void. That That's literally how my thoughts go. And then for some reason, it uses some fucking reverse time effect and it comes back to me. I'm like, oh, there you go. But yeah, that's my memory in a nutshell. Anyways, are you even getting any good upgrades, Sergio? I do not know. I want to say yes. I, this was one of my uh, abilities I had during the uh, good run I had before the recording. Oh my store. goodness. Well, I mean, we're probably going to get better runs here because we are progressed a lot more. We learned a lot more in this game. You are fucking taking damage like a bitch. I'm uh, getting a lot of levels. Okay, but we were literally just telling stories about Halloween because I was saying how, like, because uh, I had a whole bunch of fucking candy, like, laid out to, to the desk. 
Oh and, yeah, huh? That's gone. Yeah, th- well, we ate it all, but it, I hate. I do not like. We we had a whole shit ton of Starburst though. Yeah, and then uh, you were talking about lemon one, and I pulled it, and you were pissed off. About I it. I was pissed off because you pulled the lemon Starburst, which is the one I wanted, because I get getting st- uh, strawberry, and orange. Orange is okay. Strawberry's the worst one. Oh, there we go. The clock. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, it's a literal item. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty fucking cool. That's Literally pretty... the, the world. <laughs> that's pretty fucking gnarly. The world. Yeah. The Waru dog. I went to a Halloween party. Nice. It was pretty fun. I mean, technically it was like a college party, but it was it was okay. It was pretty. It was all right. It was, yeah, it was okay. I was with Car. I was with Carlos, my good buddy Carlos, and then two of his other friends, which um are yeah, they're pretty cool people. He had a he had a fucking pricey ass camera. Why? Well, I mean, he, he wanted to record everything. Oh, yeah, that makes so much yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Get girls and shit. That, that's, that was his whole goal, but he never got anything. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna call you out right now. Why the fuck did you say whoever gets no bitches is gay, but you got no bitches anyway? <laughs> I never said anything. Except, no, um, not you, the guy. <laughs> no. What else did we talk about last time? I was talking about like, my first costume. I, mean, I never even asked you yeah. what your first costume was. It was like, you were saying that yours was a tiger and I called you a furry about it and then you're like, you just fucking ruined that all for me or some shit like that. that yeah, saying. yeah, I was a five-year-old furry. What, do you remember your first costume? Of, uh, 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 top of the head? I want to say it was a Power Ranger from Overdrive. It was a That's blue actually one. a pretty fucking sick choice. Yeah, yeah it, Moses was the red one and that was the blue one. Oh, of course. Dude, of course he's the red one. He, he loves the red one. <laughs> Well, that's the funny thing. He he swapped. Uh, we've changed like, uh, uh, or sorry, we've uh, swapped every once in a while. Like I, I would say, like my red, my favorite color was red. Well, first it was blue, then red, then blue again. And now it's green, and his was like red, bl- uh, blue, and then just continue. Then it's just been red this whole time. Because yeah, I know his favorite color is red. He loves red. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with the other colors, cause you know. Well, no. I I, I, I would wear pink. I don't give well, a fuck. Uh, of course, <laughs> there's no discrimination against colors, right? <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. Um, I do remember what I was talking about like, when, you, when you left for a little bit on the call. I remember bringing up the fact that there was a mobile game that was kind of like this called Survival IO. And I was and I was talking about how like I would have uh, tried the game if it wasn't for the fact that it spammed me every single fucking second with it. You ever played bootleg Minecraft games? Oh, definitely. There was this one called uh, Survival Craft. That one stuck to me. Oh yeah, it wasn't like lions and stuff on that one. Uh, there was uh, it was it wasn't as blocky as the OG Minecraft. It was more like, like yeah, it was a, a, a more rounder one to say. Yeah, so, yeah some, like a boat. Some, some things were, had actual like, like like a ship leaves you or some shit like that yeah. in the beginning of the game. Yeah. Oh yeah, I definitely remember that one. Ooh. Yeah, and and you can um. Well, I played the demo version, but like. So did I. I've been yeah. wanting to buy the game to, to play it because it was really fun. I mean, but it's not even there anymore. <laughs> nah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, or I'll look it up. I'll check. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it is there. Look up cra- Survival Craft. Oh yeah. Um, but there was this one in like um like those fucking like you know unblocked games shit that you would, um people would always look up. There what? was this one that was like it was like a two D Minecraft. This is Survival Craft two. No way. Oh, it is still around. Huh. Like there was this one like um that was like it was like a two D Minecraft. I'm gonna have to look it up somehow, but I don't know how. But oh yeah, yeah, this is the one. Oh yeah, I've been mean, wanting to buy that one since it, it looks super yeah. cool and shit. Yeah, this one was actually a pretty a pretty decent Minecraft ripoff. Yeah, it was, it was a pretty decent one. I actually really like this one. Um, but it was like this two D Minecraft. There was a like, if you go like further, or there wasn't like, no Nether, but like uh, there was like creepers, zombies, and everything. Like uh. I, it kind of looks like the, the whole, um, uh, like the new announcements that they do for Minecraft. It was slightly in that style. I mean, I... But there was, like, no background. Like, all the blocks were... Uh, there's, like, a, a, a... An already made background in the back, and then you just, um... It was just 2D, and that's it. This game has 500k downloads, bro. <laughs> like, they can't just get the OG Minecraft. <laughs> Cause that, cause that one's just the OG Minecraft on, on Pocket Edition. Cause that's the one I wanted when I was a kid. Um, oh well, shit. Oh, well, I already have it, but yeah, <laughs> it was like it was like eight dollars I think. Yeah, it's not that expensive. Well, for like a, a kid might be. Yeah, for like like if like if like if your mom was just like, oh, you want Minecraft? Ooh, like, I'm like, like, if, like if you had a kid and if he wants Minecraft, you're just like, all right, I'll just get you a, I'll just get you the tablet version. Shit. That's, that's basically Woo! Minecraft right there. Damn. 
Ooh, the of threat of that title. ends up XP. Holy shit. The whip? Yeah, but there was a, there was fucking a pixel gun. Do you know that one? On which one? It was, it was basically a Call of Duty but Minecraft. Uh, I think I remember playing it. Uh, I remember playing it way back when in like 6th grade. That's when I played it. Bro. Oh, here comes the bones. Uh, okay, here we go. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Oh, okay, I can't, I can't really see. Uh, oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my lord! There's a lot of. <laughs> there is so many. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I can live this. I don't think I can live this. Whoa! Whoa! There's so many. <laughs> I'm fucked. How on earth am I supposed to survive that? <laughs> I have no clue. I thought you can just escape the thing and there's just gonna be a horde of zombies after you, but no! Or not zombies, sorry, skeletons, but... Holy Christ on a stick! <laughs> Dude, Minecraft was my childhood, but I could... Dude, if you were broke, and you wanted to play Minecraft, all you need to do is just download the bootleg versions. There you go. And you had the time of your life playing that shit. There, there was no multiplayer though. Do you remember the the old like before Nether portals were around? Do you do you, do you remember what they had before? Nope. They had these. Uh, they had these. Um, fuck. Okay, so they had these fucking weird uh, generator things. You can keep going. I'm just gonna look it up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they have these weird generator things. It was called. Um, um, what was it called? Was it called a nether generator? Uh, well, okay, so what it does is basically <clears> when <throat> you activate it, a tower from the nether spawns, and it's a tower made of nether rack, and you basically are in there defeating waves of enemies to get, uh, nether-based, uh, okay, materials. I do, I do remember that. I remember, like, a tower spawns, spawns this kind of Yeah, it was, it was this fucking stupid shit. I didn't shit. Ex experience it, but I do remember hearing stuff about it. It was this stupid shit. Oh, huh. I'll put a picture of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was it was this thing right here. Yeah, mm. this this little middle thing. You put a diamond sword through that, and that shit spawns, and you're inside the building. Hmm. And then while you're inside, you basically defeat a bunch of enemies. Yeah, yeah, it looks like this. I'm, I put another picture. <laughs> looks, okay, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, it looks like that. Remember seeing those blocks? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll save these pictures. Let's try bringing that back in. Um. Uh, well, then again, I guess that's more of the bastion now, but let's just try bringing that back. The what? The nether towers or whatever. Oh yeah, I mean I wouldn't know how they would how they would do it though. Yeah, but because because it, it was just a beta way to go to the nether pretty much. If they were to do towers like that, I'm pretty sure they would have they would add a lot of stuff to the nether. But then again, they did a whole ass nether update. Yeah, and then again, the, the, those are tenek of the bastions now. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, well, Minecraft here, O'Brien. <laughs> oh, dude, I forgot about that. Yeah, like but, like on like on YouTube. People used to do a lot of like, YouTube tutorials on how to summon a hero, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> the real question is if it was real. <laughs> of course, no one's gonna fucking know. Because... Yeah, it was that or the, uh, the the glowstone portal one too. The ether. The ether, yeah. Even though right, that, even though that was a mod. I still think that they should add it. Uh, um, I'm pretty sure everyone else agrees. It's like everyone, dude, everyone wants it. Of course. Oh, actually. We never got to this topic, but have you seen the FNAF movie? <laughs> no, I have not. We were, we were gonna um, go, but yeah. I, I think something happened last minute or something like that for us. Or no, uh, I, I was working that day, I think. Yeah, I think so. But uh, it was, I actually watched it. I didn't watch it in theaters. It was on a streaming service mm. that uh, our family has, and I did not know that it was being released on there. But we watched it. It was okay. I heard a uh, map that was in it. No, Huge, Mark Huge, Huge, Markiplier was supposed to be in it. Yeah, but like something happened last second or something like that. He's working on a different movie. That's what it was. Yeah, he's working on a different movie on his own, so he didn't really. Oh, there's a lightning ring. Let's go. There you go. But yeah, he was working on his own thing, and um, yeah, MatPat was there for like a good five seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was an okay movie. I mean, it's not horror. It's not horror. Um, yeah, it just has like two things that's like horror esque. Other than that. But to be fair, we, okay. consi we consider the FNAF uh, series a horror. I got all like the, the, the uh, horror, but... when it's released, yeah. When like the first one in 2014, yeah, it's it's, it's horror. I mean that 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 was his initial um, appeal. It was just yeah. horror. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, but 
I mean, yeah, in 2014 when, when Finance of Freddy's came out, yeah, it's a horror. I would consider it horror, even even if now it's not as it's not as scary as it used to be. But to be fair, I feel, I feel like it's gone to like the whole Resident Evil route now. At least with the security breach. Uh, I never played Resident Evil, so I wouldn't know. Like there, there's like um uh, different like um horror aspects to it, but it's it, you're just fighting back at it or something. I guess I don't know. Like, I, how do I don't know how to describe shit? The, 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 thing, the thing that's more that's really fucking Resident Evil X was uh, esque was fucking Spider Man Two. Uh, cause Spider Man, 2, you know, you have like Mary Jane, mm -hmm. who's supposed to be the love interest. Uh, she has like her she she has like her own um, what? Uh, oh. Keep talking. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Mary Jane has her own sections in the game. And basically, in these sections, it's base. Uh, it's just stealth missions. But on the last, right. on the last mission she has, it's basically Resident Evil. Yeah, but, but Resident Evil, it it, 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 it's its own thing. So it, I'm pretty sure it's a lot more intense. Yeah. Yeah, but like based based on like how the how the camera angle look and how like the sh like aiming looks with the shooting angle. Yeah, shit like that. It looked very Resident Evil esque. Yeah, and, uh, remembering the last mission, yeah, that, that did feel like it. Yeah. Part of another clip <laughs> to show what we were talking about. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but... Yeah. Spider-Man 2 is okay. You know, actually, no... Oh, 2? I thought you were talking about 1 for some reason. No, 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 not 1. 1 was, uh... 1 was just pure stealth. It was only 1 or 2 missions. 2 oh. had a lot more sections for her. And it was just the last one that she did that, uh, felt Resident Evil-esque. Mm. Okay, then. Yeah. But, um, Spider-Man 2 was okay. Well, I mean, maybe I'm just exaggerating. It was a really good game. It was very fun. Gameplay-wise, it was really, really good. Story was actually pretty fucking good, too. Um, a lot of people are... This might be a hot take, but... Uh, well, actually, no. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a hot take. Miles was definitely not the... Was not, he was definitely not the main character in that game. Which is okay. But people are complaining about that for some reason. But. Which I get. You know, Miles is his own. Well, it's kind of hard to own. juggle two characters that were main characters at one point in a game. In a game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, oh, hot potato. That's what it is. And, and second. Oh, there's another turkey there. I'm gonna pick that up. Might as well. Yeah. But, um. Yeah. I mean, Miles wasn't, wasn't really the main character of the game. And people were complaining about that. But uh, in my eyes, I feel like. The whole game was about Peter Parker in the first place, so Miles is basically a side character. He's a playable character, but he was more of a side character because most of the things are affecting the main character's life, which yeah. is Peter Parker, which is fine. I have nothing against Miles or Peter. It's just like that's just how it was, and I had no problem with that. Oh, like Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> there was a spider. There was a Spider Verse side mission in that game actually. Huh. You have to collect like the spider bots. For their respective Spider Man. So, like, Gwen Stacy or uh, Spider. Bill Spider. Fucking. Um. Uh, what's it called? Uh. Miguel O'Hara. So, it's Spider Man 2099. Spider Man Noir. Yeah, they had, they had, they had everything. They had a J. Jonah Jameson one? Which, yeah, like, by comics, yeah, he is also his own Spider Man. Yeah, I think it's like Headline is his name or something like that? Uh, I have no idea. But he is his, he is his own Spider-Man as well. Which he is... became the parent thing he swore to the store. <laughs> yeah, basically. Spider-Man <laughs> <laughs> was really fun though. Oh yeah, uh, game game awards is coming around too. Mm. I think it's on December. Huh. So, uh, what did... game of the year? No clue. Cool. I, I would give it a Final Fantasy 16. I would not be surprised if that one's. <laughs> It was actually a really good game, uh, although it was la it, it was lacking uh, what people because some people say it's not really a Final Fantasy game, which some parts I kind of get. Like for example, it is not as big as someone expects it to be. I mean, the world is huge, but it's not like the story wise. Or you, what? You, no, the story was great. Oh, what the fuck! <laughs> Uh, no, I, uh, not the fact that I died. I was too distracted by the fact that there was like two frozen zombies just coming up to me. <laughs> Final Fantasy 15. I like its story, but it also had the same problem. The world was almost not that interactive. The gameplay was actually pretty meh as well. <laughs> the only thing that relatively relatively uh, did good on it 
was when they updated it on the Royal Edition, and all you could do was Warp Strike. It was just one move the whole time, which made it funner, I guess. <laughs> Wait, no, actually, no. Yeah, it did make it funner, even though it was one move and it was repeating the same shit. I still had fun with the game. The story was pretty fucking good. I really liked it. I even have the Steelbook Edition, like, right here. <laughs> it is right here! Boom. Oh, is it the one you picked from, that, from the store? Yeah. The we went? I, I don't want to say it because I feel like we're going to accidentally dox ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there's a retro game store that's basically from where we are, and it's a pretty good retro game store. They have basically everything. They have fucking... They go from NES all the way to PS5 and modern consoles now. So from yeah. old retro consoles, you want to get a PS1, they have PS1s there. You want to get a fucking... NES? N NES, they have them there. SNES, they have them there. A Wii? I, I even picked up a Wii. <laughs> yeah, fucking Ser Sergio picked up a fucking Wii. <laughs> I haven't tried it out because I'm trying to get the cables right now, but... Yeah. yeah. Or at least to work with the smart TV? Is that what it's called? Flat screens. Flat screens? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, I got myself a steelbook version of Final Fantasy XV, which contains the game and the movie. Mm. There's a movie of it, but not of the game. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to discuss fucking lore of 15, because that shit's already a shit fest. <laughs> Good lore, but kind of a shit fest. I have Persona 5 as well. Ooh, Persona 5 could be a good one. Good play. Yeah, the Persona games, absolutely. Oh, I'm, I'm barely even halfway through 4 right now. I'm playing through 4. Huh. Uh, 5 is pretty good. I recommend. We should definitely get this game. Uh, uh, play this I, one. I, I, I saw that there's like a bunch of versions of it. Does it even matter what version I play? Um, for the most part? Well, relative, there's, like, there's uh, like five, then there's Royale, and then there's um. So the difference between five and Royale is is Royal. Royal has. Oh yeah, Royal. Sorry. Royal has extra content. So uh. basically, it expands the story. Okay. So it's a it's a relatively different and new story. Mm. Not that different, but. It, like once you get to like the end of like where the original game ends, there's another arc. Okay. That's what I mean. Yeah. But you have to do specific things. Yeah, we can definitely play this one. This one would be really fun to play. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been meaning to try out the Persona games, like, especially five. But, like. Okay. Yeah. This is a game we should play then. Yeah. Uh, I'll put this one on the uh, on like the two play section on my fucking shelf. Uh, Yakuza Zero is another one, but you call I it a shelf, but it's just a stack of it's just a stack of your games. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I don't even have a proper bookshelf. So we, we did say Yakuza as well. So yeah. I already have zero on PC. We're good. Um, oh, dude. I feel like you'll like Yakuza 1 for sure. That one's re relatively stupid. I like this one. It, 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 dude, it's always a risk to fucking get these games off the fucking stack. I have this one. <laughs> Kiwami. Dude, I like this one a lot. For sure. Because you're going to have a good... You're going to have, you're gonna have like, a, like your own stalker following you the whole time. Yeah, I think I remember seeing that. Wasn't that Giovanni's picture? Yeah. The, with the fucking yeah, he has like a profile of the character. His name is Majima, and he's a, he's a fantastic character. I saw a fucking meme about it. Hold on, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Because <laughs> yeah, it's right. fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just plays the fucking theme music. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. So that character right there, basically what he does is he... He, he, he stop. If he catches you on the street, if he finds you... He'll chase after you, mm. and if you let it, if you let him catch you, you have to fight him. There's no escaping. You have to okay. fight him. You have to fight him. Why are you getting the white mummies? Uh, that sounded bad. <laughs> I just I'm scared of like, why'd you get the white mummies? Mummy, 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 can I get a lot? Okay, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna continue that fucking shit. I'm good. I don't know if we should continue Sonic for cheer. <laughs> I, I say we should. The deals, the um, the, the fucking DLC ending they gave it. Actually we should probably better. play the PC version then, because that one's easier to record. Yeah, I'll just play this. One. I could, I could just uh, slightly speedrun the first island. We can get to the second island though. You could experience the rest of it. Speedrun the fucking first island. <laughs> I forgot. Moises was showing me that he fucking sped run the whole island. Uh, uh, I'm not doing the speedrun tricks. I'm like more like a uh, quickly do everything. Oh okay, yeah, because yeah. fucking, fucking Moises was like. Hey, I'm gonna show you something, and I was like, "Yeah, sure." And he and he fucking just launched himself over the fucking mountain where the motherfucker is, ah! where, Sorry. The, where the motherfucker has the <laughs> the, yeah. the last emerald, and he just turned into Super Sonic all of a sudden, just skip everything. I was like, yeah. "What the fuck?" All right, whatever. Yeah, I saw him do it on the PS5 or his PS5. Yeah, he just to, oh. he, he just had to get to the uh, a certain point in the in the island, and after that, he's like, "All right, you're gonna launch yourself over the mountain, land on the guy's back, and it." Plays the cutscene, you turn supersonic, and you fucking beat the first boss. 
And then after that, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't even remember what the second boss was because, yeah, because I beat it. I beat it. I just don't remember what the fuck it was. Wyvern, a long ass snake. <laughs> I do not remember that. I'm gonna pull. It, I'm gonna pull it up. Yeah, pull it up. I do not remember. This guy. Oh, okay, I think I do remember fighting that motherfucker. Uh, woo, woo. He's a lot more annoying in the DLC. Oh, is there like, is there like, is it like a Kingdom Hearts three where it just makes the bosses instantly harder? Yeah, it brings them up uh, in in hard mode and even in slightly a bit of an easy mode or in normal mode. They actually have to make you perfect parry. Oh, that's fucking stupid. Yeah, and his attacks actually uh, uh, all look the same, but there's like a slight different difference to them, and they have different uh, fucking. Uh, how do you put it? It's like times where you have to parry it. So sometimes it can be like right at near you, or it can be far away from you, and they both count. Jesus Christ. You know, or you get knocked back, and you have to go, go through the fucking uh, rocket cycle all over again, or when he shoots the missiles at you. Like it basically, you cannot proceed unless you fucking parry him, and it's annoying as so, shit. So the DLC is just pure boss fights. That's it. Uh, kind of. It's more like into like the final area where you do that. Or is it like extra story? There's like a story to it. Oh, okay. There is a slight problem to the rewrite to it, but, you know, the, the, it, it is more like story to it, since you could play as, um, as Amy, Knuckles, and Tails. You know, in old Sonic games, they really tried on the stories, but even if they never had well, they were still good. Oh, my God. Oh, is this the ring? Yeah. I think I just walked back into the fucking ring. Oh, my God. You gotta get out of there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta... <laughs> Oh, oh, here comes okay. the bone zone. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if you can. Oh, you can kill them. You can kill them. Uh, King, King, King Bible. More health or? Mm. Ooh, this is gonna be a hard one because you're gonna have to go through a shit ton of. Unless you do the whip. Or, or yeah, King Bible. That could work. Yeah, see, you're killing him off. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. They're still drowning me. Okay, okay, okay. I should have got more Bible. No, no, no. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, <laughs> we gotta get the armor. We gotta get the armor, dog. Get the fuck out of there. Now leave, motherfucker. What are you doing? It doesn't matter. There's so more of these motherfuckers everywhere else. Okay, we gotta find a campfire. Okay, there's one. There's one to the left, but I can't go in there. Because it's fucking <laughs> surrounded by every single motherfucker in the fucking existence. <laughs> fuck, man. Oh, my God. All right. I think that's enough. I hate my life, all right? The one game that's super annoying. That lose everything. It was, good. it was good, though. It's a good game. Anyways, yeah. <sighs> Happy late Halloween to everyone out there. Um, oh, no, 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 do not orders. feed your kids raise. Uh, do not feed the kids razors, please. Or do if you don't want to pay child support. Oh, uh, that, <laughs> but that's but that's a gamble. That's that's if you actually get the child that you are targeting. And actually, I should not say that. <laughs> I should not be like contemplating and saying, "All right, this is how you really do it." No, don't actually do that. That's wrong. Do not do that. Don't do that, please. Unless. I s <laughs> Sergio, 2022. Um, it's 2023. 2023. Almost 2024, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Dementia, everyone. Oh, God. All right. But, yeah. Have fun. Hopefully, you got a great Halloween. Um, if you did, awesome. If not, then awesome, I, I guess. Go fuck yourself, I guess. I Go know. fuck yourself. Uh, anyways... Like, comment, subscribe, or we'll kill your parents. <laughs> uh, we did this literally last recording. We're going to kill your parents. All right? We're going to make you an orphan, because what are you going to do? Tell your parents? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. So anyway, story time. <laughs> it's story time. Bye!